Hello, uh, this quick video about uh, connectivity types for Connect Cluster. As you can see, there are three types. First one is by, by bounding box, and uh, it allows you to establish all connections uh, using objects bounding box. Uh, it's fastest way, you can use it in runtime. It's very quick, so you could set up, and here you can see, even though this fragment is not touching this one, there is still connection between them. If I will, let's say, move it far enough and hit set up cluster again it's okay now uh, the browning box do not inter interpenetrate so they are not considered as neighbors anymore but now they also you can see this uh, blue line now they are neighbors again uh, next type is by mesh and this one is perfect to use with uh, Voronoi fragments because it establish connection by checking all the triangles and you will see that uh, there is a face, like in this case, uh, like you can see that there is one triangle here and one triangle here, and the same triangles you can see here and here. So when you see that these two triangles here and these two triangles here, they kind of share the same area, then it consider two fragments as neighbors and establish connection. You can see here I have this fragment just like this one here but it's not touching this one so when I hit setup cluster it's not creating connection between these two fragments but if I will uh, move it so it will overlap this this fragments faces and triangles hit again now you can see it considered them as neighbors and show this connection so this uh, by mesh connectivity type is uh, slow you can use it only in editor uh, so if you are especially if you have a lot of fragments because it has to go through all the object uh, triangles and it may take some time but this is the most accurate way because and it allows you to create uh, connections exactly for fragments which actually uh, touching each other connecting with each other and as I said it's perfect for Warner fragments and third type is called by bounding box and mesh so it uh, works pretty the same like bounding box but uh, first it tries to connect uh, establish connection um, by using triangles and only then it checks for bounding box and if object uh, not uh, don't have any shared area then it use their bounding box and the reason why you may need this because in some cases you may have combination of Warner fragments and then you will maybe some other structure uh, on top of the Warner fragments and you want all of these fragments to be as one cluster and uh, why you need to why, why don't you use uh, by bounding box you may ask but uh, because um, uh, when you establish connection by mesh it also uh, consider this shared um, area size which you can later use for collapsing and this is very important because uh, you will be able to start collapsing starting from the uh, very small um, areas and then start growing and breaking connections uh, between bigger areas and uh, you can you cannot do this if you will just use bounding box so if you prepare your connected cluster inside uh, editor and want to store it as prefab then use by mesh or if you have some other fragments on top of the Voronoi then you can use by mesh and uh, by bounding box and mesh type this one it's also slow but <coughs> as you can see it established connections between these two fragments by the triangles and uh, the, this one by bounding box as you can see here for some reason this one and this one they also there is connection this blue line among them this is because they are overlapping by bounding boxes and as you see this is not accurate enough and so this is uh, how this connection types works uh, okay uh, thank you for watching